Let's learn how to get the logs from AKS control plane components. AKS is a managed cluster, so the control plane nodes and the components like the API server, the scheduler, and the controller manager are all managed by the cloud provider. But we need to access to their logs in order to do troubleshooting or to set alerts. In this video, I'll show you how to get those logs using log analytics. I have in this demo here one IKS cluster and log analytics. We'll see why to use it later. So if I go to my Kubernetes cluster right here from the left side where I have the menu options, I can go here to the diagnostic settings and from here I can add a diagnostic setting. If I click on that link here, I'll be able to inspect the logs from the control plane of my AKS cluster. So from here I can get the logs related to the Kube API server, Kube Audit, Kube Audit Admin, Controller Manager, Scheduler, Autoscaler, Guard, and I also can get some other uh, metrics from the control plane. When I get those data or those logs, I can send them either to Log Analytics or to Storage Account. And from here I can set a storage account and they can read the data from there uh, later. Or I can also stream it into an event hub. What I'm going to do in this demo is to send that data to Log Analytics. For that here I need to have a Log Analytics setup. So here I have already uh, one that I have prepared for this demo. So let me show you here where I have mentioned at the beginning that I have a log analytics workspace. So I have created this log analytics workspace by going to create a new uh, resource. And from here, you can go to look for log analytics. And that's the first one here, log analytics workspace. So you go to create and the only setting you need to provide is the subscription with the resource group, the name of your instance, and then the region you want to choose. Then when you go to pricing, you have a few options here and then you will be able to uh, create, review and create your log analytics. I have already created one for this demo. So I'll select this one in here, log analytics for AKS. And that's the only thing I need to do in order to set up uh, log analytics here, in addition, of course, to setting uh, a name for this one. So I call it log analytics dash AKS. And then I can go to save that setting. And once that's saved, and I get the uh, notification here telling me that this was added successfully. Now I can go to I can see from diagnostic settings that now I have one diagnostic setting that is uh, uh, linked into here. And now I can go to logs from here. So if I select logs right now, I'll be able to see that I have, I can run some queries against my Kubernetes services to get the logs related to my uh, AKS coming from the uh, control plane. So let's try this uh, first query, for example. So I'll hit run into here and that will paste the uh, query for me. So this will query my AKS uh, cluster and the result will be shown into here into this uh, table where I can see the uh, logs coming from different uh, images. Those images are installed in my, in my cluster. I can also go to look for some other um, some other uh, queries like for example Kubernetes events. So if I select that and I go to uh, run that query, this will show me the different events that happened with my uh, cluster. And I can see here one event is related to uh, actually I have deployed a pod into my cluster and I can see here that pod called Nginx, I can see the events related to that uh, pod. You can also, there is also some other few uh, queries that are uh, useful for you to see. So uh, take a look on that. What we can also do is that we can go to view those data from the uh, log analytics workspace itself. So if I go to here and then I go to select logs, 
So from here I can write the same uh, queries for my uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster. So from here I can filter queries for the Kubernetes uh, service and I can go to uh, run that uh, uh, query against my cluster.